What's up, fish gang? Welcome back to Monster Fish Only, aka Mofo Fish, where we talk about monster fish and monster tanks. I'm your host, Phil Thomas, and today we're going to be talking about the channel catfish. No, not the Chanel catfish, the channel catfish. Chanel catfish? DJ, run the intro. Fish gang, fish gang, you know we come alive from the fish tank. Don't be getting mad cause you're fish lame. Yeah, every time you hit, I do a water change. Fish gang, fish gang, you know we come alive from the fish tank. Don't be getting mad cause you're fish lame. Yeah, every time you hit, I do a water change. Water change, 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 water change. Water chain, 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 water more commonly, you're probably going to see around 30 inches in the aquarium hobby. Um, the two that I have right now are a little bit over um, a year old. The albino is a male, and you can tell that because of the uh, width of its head um, and the width of its mouth. And the blue channel uh, catfish that I have is actually the female. Um, wasn't shooting for that in the pet store just grabbed a couple of them and that's what they uh, came out to be um, the male is probably around 24 inches um, and he's grown pretty rapidly over the time span of that year and a half female I got a little bit after him um, probably about five or six months after him around the same age that around that three to four inches mark um, and it grew to somewhere about 18 inches. So it looks like, um, the sex of the creature is going to kind of determine, um, how fast and how large it gets, how fast it grows, and how large it gets. So the aggression, um, it's going to be mild. I've kept them, you know, mostly with, uh, Oscar fish. Um, I had one prior to the two that you can see here on the screen and you know the Oscar fish more specifically Guillermo um, was kind of messing with it picking on a little bit but he definitely stood his ground he would kind of chase Guillermo around a little bit and they would take turns you know pushing each other around and that's when I you know decided to rehome it because at the time I didn't have as many tanks as I have now um, but he went to a nice pond and he's undoubtedly enjoying his life um, the temperature you want to keep him at they can go anywhere from like 58 degrees all the way up to like 82, degree, 82 degrees. Um, these guys are tropical fish. Um, pH is pretty much going to be like all fresh water. Um, you're going to be wanting to keep it around 6 to 8. You know, they actually do have somewhat of a brackish tolerance. So if you did want to uh, keep a, a brackish tank, they would do fine in there. But whatever it is, it would just have to be consistent. So if it's consistently fresh water, keep it fresh water. Um, if you're wanting to make it into a brackish tank, slowly change it into a brackish tank. Uh, minimum tank size, internet's going to say a thousand gallons. I wouldn't be mad at you if you went out and grabbed a thousand gallon tank. Most people aren't going to be able to afford that. I would say that if you went and you got a 400 gallon aquarium, I think that you would be fine. But your dimensions would be the ultimate decider on whether or not that was going to be a success or not um, for feeding these guys will consume anything you put in the tank anything um, so I pretty much started growing them up on the Wardleys um, I throw carnivore pellets in there I throw you know any pellets in there they will come up to the surface and eat it I think they love the jumbo krill or the krill um, that you can just buy in the can at a pet store. They will tear that stuff up. They're absolutely insane for that stuff. They like chunks of cod. I do salmon sometimes as well, and they tear that stuff up. 
their sense of smell is extremely sensitive. Um, they actually have taste buds throughout the entirety of their body. So all over the surface of their skin, they have taste buds. Channel catfish are not extremely aggressive. However, um, they are venomous and it should be handled with care. Um, this thing is not fatal, um, but it does produce a great deal of pain. And you know, you really, if you, if you have to be handling the fish at all, you need to be really careful. Uh, if you do mess around and get stung by it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, you're just gonna wanna run it under hot water for 15 minutes plus. Um, and if, obviously, if it worsens a little bit and it's not getting any better, just go to the hospital because you might be allergic and you don't wanna be dealing with any problems from that. All right, so this next part is gonna be kind of geared more towards um, the science and more uh, fact-based information. Um, so the channel catfish are actually native to North America. The channel catfish possess very keen senses of smell and taste. Um, at the pits of their nostrils, also known as nares, um, are very sensitive odor sensing organs, which have a very high concentration of olfactory receptors. Uh, in channel catfish, these organs are sensitive enough to detect several amino acids at about one part per hundred million in water. That's crazy. Um, so let's kind of go over to one of their cooler factions. Um, it's actually known as chemical communication. So uh, the North American channel catfish um, is a bony fish occupying obviously fresh water or brackish water like we discussed. Um, these fish are known to produce club cells and alarm substances for communication purposes. Uh, both the fish's habitat and the presence of uh, chemosensory cells covering the body are presumably the result of favored selection from the method of communication. So one other cool thing um, about their incredible sense of smell is that they can actually smell the difference between um, male and female species. They can smell the difference between different species of catfish um, and they can also smell who the dominant fish is. These fish can be extremely skittish so that's probably one of the only uh, drawbacks to keeping the fish that I've ever had the, the albino, albino channel catfish you're looking at his name is glider uh, the reason why we named him that is because when he was very small he would just glide back and forth across the tank now obviously as he got bigger his habits did not change um, and that's kind of causing a little bit of a problem because he will glide from one side of the tank to the other at a very fast pace and slam into the tank. The other thing that kind of brings me into is the lighting. The reason why the tank, um, I keep that tank at a purplish bluish hue is, you know, it looks kind of cool, but there's actually a practical uh, reasoning behind that. That's gonna be because whenever I use the bright white lights, it freaks the fish out way too much. Now I did a little bit of research and realized that um, if you use a red light or a blue light, it can kind of simulate moon light to them. And um, they're obviously totally okay with that because they are nocturnal um, hunters and nocturnal creatures. So in conclusion, we're gonna answer, is this fish for you? You have to ask yourself a few things here. How much money do you have? How much space do you have? How much time do you have? Um, and if you have a lot of all those, then keep one, you know, they're fun, they're, they're awesome, they're great. But if you really don't, I wouldn't even mess around with it. Some people are going to try to shove this fish into a 75 gallon tank and say, oh, I got plenty of time. That's not going to be good for them. Um, and it's not going to be good for your tank. Trust me. I would rate this at the semi-expert level. So you pretty much are going to get pushed into the expert category anytime you get a fish that's going to require a very big tank and special requirements um, but for this fish it's not really too complicated again the fish is going to do its thing um, just give it a big glass box with lots of water and plenty of food and do your water changes plenty of filtration and the fish is going to live a happy healthy life just do what you got to do and, and with that being said we're out the tank. Thanks for watching.
Hey you. Yeah, fish pool. If you subscribe to the channel already, then welcome to the fish game. But if you haven't, shame on you. Keep in mind, every time you subscribe to a channel, particularly maybe this one, your fish live a little bit longer. It's science. It's real science. But, in all seriousness, you get a chance to win some free stuff. So hit the subscribe button, enter for your chance to win. Um, all you have to do is just subscribe. Um, it's going to be a Sun Sun canister filter, uh, the 304B, rated for like 525 gallons per hour. Um, I will give you guys something that I don't personally use or I haven't personally tested. So I do have it on three of my tanks. I've got it on this uh, 75 here, and I've got it on two 125s. So um, we will be giving it to one of our lucky viewers for absolutely free. All you have to do is just hit the subscribe button, comment you love mofo fish, and hit that like button. We're out the tank.